So let's move on to the second type of question then, and that's when you have a linear and a nonlinear graph. Uh, so the example is by plotting their graphs on the same axes, find the solution to the two simultaneous equations below. So here we have a linear, which is the one in blue, that's y equals x plus 2, and a nonlinear graph, which is x squared plus y squared equals 100. Uh, so you might recognize this as a circle equation. So circles have the equation or the general form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So in this case, r squared equals 100. So r, the radius of the circle, is 10. Now in a circle graph equation like this, uh, the center of the circle is the origin, 0, 0. So we can draw our circle graph with a radius 10 and a center 0, 0. So let's do that now. There we go, so there's one I made earlier. So all we have to do now is plot the other graph, y equals x plus 2, uh, and see the points where they line up, or they cross over each other. Uh, so y equals x plus 2, uh, well that has a y-intercept of plus 2, and it has a gradient of 1. Uh, so that means that for every 1 we go across, we go 1 up. Uh, so if you plot the graph, it should end up looking something like this. Uh, and then as you can see, there's two points where the graphs cross over each other. There's one here, and there's one here. So if I just tidy up that blue line there, uh, just for the sake of completion. Uh, but let's have a look then. So the points where these lines cross over each other are here at 6, 8, and down here at minus 8, minus 6. So therefore, our solutions to the simultaneous equations, uh, we have two pairs of solutions. Uh, we have uh, x equals 6, y equals 8. That's the first one in the top right. Uh, and then we have the bottom left one, which is x equals minus 8, y equals minus 6. So those are our two solutions to the simultaneous equations. If you'd like to get some more practice with this topic, then you can have a go at our Simultaneous Equations with Graphs online exam. It's available through our revision platform, and you'll find loads of different questions to help you prepare for your exam, uh, and you get instant feedback on each and every one of them, uh, so you can keep track of the areas that you're weakest at in this topic. Uh, if you're interested, then click the link below, it'll take you straight there.